Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. I started doing a system on how I actually plan out my YouTube videos and not just my YouTube videos, all my social media content. I've recently been following this system for the past two weeks, so it hasn't been that long, but I already see a huge difference. I feel way more organized, I'm posting more on time, and so I wanted to share this video first before I share how I edit my YouTube videos. And of course, the platform that I use is Notion, we know. Notion is where it's at, I told you guys. If you're new to my channel, my name is Soraya Alexis, I am 24. My channel is mainly about lifestyle, wellness, and things like this, like content creation. I would really appreciate if you subscribe, if you're into any of that stuff. I'm very excited to share this with you guys. I hope it may help anyone who may feel just all over the place. We are in my Notion page. So I have my Soraya Alexis LLC page. This basically is everything underneath my brand and I did create an LLC for my brand so that I can do like tax write-offs when I am paid for stuff or if I purchase anything for my business so think of yourself as a business this is kind of off topic but if you don't have an LLC yet if you're serious about content creation and you're already making money I would recommend making one so on the left side I have social platforms and I have YouTube of course the blog that I never started. And then the other page underneath is my Instagram and TikTok page. I put strategies, I don't know why. Everything that has to do with Instagram and TikTok is in that page. And I just made it one page because I don't like flicking through a whole bunch of pages. I just need things in one place, you know? On the right side, I have more pages. So the first page is the social media stats and review page. If you watch my monthly plan with me, then you know this is the page that I use to track on my social media um, analytics in progress. Next, I have my personal brand standards page. Honestly, I don't really use this page like that. But basically in this page, I put like who my target audience is, different fonts that I use, different colors. I don't really use it. And everything that I use is pretty much in Canva. Next, I have my Instagram post template. Underneath that page, I have affiliate marketing and brand deals. This page is different brands that I want to work with in the future. It also is like a list of all the affiliate marketing platforms that I know of. I have brands that I worked with in the past here, local brands that I wanna work with. I have my brand collaboration template in here. That's basically like the emails that I send to people if I wanna work with them or if I don't wanna work with them. And then I have like brands and companies that I wanna work with. As you see, Notion is here, you know. You guys already know. I gotta update this, but yeah. That's everything in that page. I should probably go into the other pages because I didn't do that. And this page, I'm not going to go into. I'll probably delete this page later. I don't even know what's in here. And then one page I didn't get into because I do use this page is the Instagram post template. I'm just going to click on that so you guys can see. This is just the things that I need in order to make a post. The image, if I already have the image, you can put it in here. I typically don't do that in Notion. I like to use other platforms. I've recently been getting into Rella, which is Natalie Barbu's app that she created. But I'll write out the captions and I'll write out the hashtags here just underneath that I put tags so different brands or pages that I want to tag that might repost my stuff all right so if you go down we have this section labeled learning I barely go on these pages but I just like to have them here I'll probably organize this sometime in the future then I have the page of influencing and content creation 101 this is basically things that I learned along the way and Let's say one day I want to make an ebook. I can just go to this page and like teach some things that I learned. On the right side, I have my services and products. It's basically having multiple streams of income. So that's what this page is. I mean, this section. On the left side here, I have content ideas. This is basically all the platforms that I post on. So YouTube, Instagram, and TikTok. In these categories, I have my content pillars. So basically what I'm looking to post on all of these platforms. In these sections, I just have the categories or the content pillars that I post underneath each platform. It helps me stay organized and keeps me consistent, not only with when I post, but with what I post. Now let's get into the actual content calendar. 
So if you scroll down more on this page, you have my YouTube content calendar, you have my TikTok content calendar, and my Instagram content calendar. So starting with YouTube, if you scroll down, you see my YouTube content calendar. This is just a calendar of the videos. I love seeing it in a calendar view because it really helps me stay on track, see what videos I have to film and edit for the week. And hopefully this might help me stay more on track with posting on time. So we'll see. But let's actually go into my YouTube page. So this is my YouTube page. I have my mission. It's good to just see why you create videos, what's the purpose behind them. Next, I have my YouTube pages here. And this is basically the other YouTube channels that I created. I honestly don't post on these pages, but I just created them just so they're there. Templates, I have, again, the social media stats and review page. I just copied and pasted it into my YouTube page. I have my description box template, which is a huge time saver. If you do not have a description box template, you need to make one right now. Nobody has time to write out all that stuff for every single video when you can just copy and paste it. You can look in my description box, you'll see it. Then I have video outline template, editing workflow, and a video publishing checklist. These pages don't really use as much. And then I have my three values. I seen somebody else do this. I think it was Lavender. And I put minimalistic aesthetic, great quality, and keeping it real. I don't know why that's crossed out. <laughs> Don't know why that's crossed out. We keep it real over here. So semi chill what was i thinking i don't really know this is embarrassing all right so if you scroll down we have my youtube content calendar and ideas table so this is the table that you guys seen on my main page the sarai alexis page it's the same table i just have them in both pages these are all different views up here so the first view that i have is videos in progress so these are videos that i am working on or that i am planning to film in the upcoming month. Then I have a calendar for when the videos are due. Film day is basically the calendar, but like when I need to film the videos. Posted, these are all posted videos. And then these are all video ideas. So starting with the ideas view, I'm probably gonna blur this out, but I like to separate my ideas by video category. It's nice to just have them all here like this. And let's say I'm like, mm, I wanna post a vlog next week i can just pull from these ideas and yeah sometimes i just think of videos on the spot but it's nice to just have all of your all your ideas in one place so that you're not constantly thinking of ideas on the spot and being under pressure to come up with stuff so and i'm gonna go into one of the videos so you can see how i actually organize it so first i have the month here so which month i'm planning on posting it then i have a sponsor like if this video is sponsored or not that i put the due date when i want to post it done is obviously if the video is done video category i have or what type of video it is notion just came out with this new status properties and so what i have here which keeps me very very organized i love it so much is different categories for what stage in the process of the video i am in so i don't check a video as done until i promoted it on other platforms or repurposed it in some way so it's nice to like keep track of the process with all my videos. I have a template here for a new video. So we have my mission here, which is what I had at the beginning of this page. I just put it in every single video so that we stay on track. And my target audience, I put women, especially women of color. Basically all this stuff is me. <laughs> my target audience is the things that I do, the things that I am. I know like sometimes I get all types of people who watch my videos and that's great. I never want to exclude everyone. Like there's men who watch my videos, all different types of races, ethnicities, and everyone is welcome here. Then I have my title and description. So video title. Now this template here is what I got from Jules Acree. I love her videos. She is amazing with Notion and this is what I got from her. I think she said she was inspired by Thomas Frank and I'm inspired by her so we just pass it down, right? <laughs> Keywords and tags for the video. Thumbnail and inspo. Links to include. I use Bitly which is like a link shortener. I believe you can also track how many clicks you get. With then I have description. I have the description box template page linked in this page so that I can easily click on that. Then I have script. Some videos videos I have a script, some videos I don't, but if there is a script, this is where I put it. And then this is a section for any B-roll that I want to add. But let's say I need some B-roll of me. This is just a list of B-roll that I might need. So this is just my publishing checklist. Whenever I post, I like to post it on my Instagram story. I like to post it on Twitter. And this is just making sure I remember to do those things. So that is how I organize my YouTube videos and plan those out. And this is what it looks like. 
Okay, so going back into my main page. All right, so if you scroll down, this portion really helped me stay on track. I got this idea from another YouTuber. Their name is Michelle Kane Mitsu. Hope I'm saying that right. But obviously, I'll have their pages linked down below. This has been amazing for me also. So I have two different views of the same table. On the left side, I just have my TikTok content that I am planning on creating or in the process of creating. And then on the right side, I have a calendar view of all the TikToks that I am looking to create and this has been keeping me so on track besides the fact that I did not post today so let's go into one of the TikTok videos that I posted this is how I organize my TikTok so at the top of course I have the title then I have when I'm gonna post it the platform so either Instagram or TikTok sometimes it's both because I do post both fashion content on TikTok and Instagram content type this is I don't really use this this property for TikToks mainly for Instagram. Then of course sponsored, if the content is sponsored or not, any notes that I wanna add, the status. And with this, it's pretty much the same thing as the YouTube videos. Then we have any sound that I use. Actually, I could take this property out. And then category is, again, the different content pillars that I post. I just make sure I put the category in so that I know what I'm posting. And then if you scroll down, this is how I organize my TikToks. Not every TikTok I go in depth and do this for. In fact, I just recreated this page today. So we'll see if this works for me. But I have the video title, any keywords to add in the TikTok, basically hashtags. Most of the time, the caption is just the title of the video. Then the content, I have any images that I would like to add. Then the script, if there is a script, most of the time there's not. And then I have a list of hooks that I've seen somebody post on TikTok. And then I have a category for a specific sound that I would like to use in the TikTok. So yeah, that's pretty much how I plan out or organize my TikTok content. That is pretty much the same thing for Instagram here. Um, I don't really plan out Instagram too much on Notion. Like I said, I mainly like to use like apps like Rella, Planoly, or Unum. So in this page, my Instagram and TikTok strategies page, this is where I have the same content calendar that you guys see on on my main page for Instagram and TikTok, but this is also where I put other stuff. So for Instagram, I have photo locations that I like to go to. Obviously, I'm not gonna show that. Let's say there's a nice place that I pass by one day and I'm like, ooh, this would be nice to take a picture at. I'll put it in here so that I remember. What I also like to do is put like the colors that are there so that if I want to match my outfit to the background, I know where to go. On the other side, I put my caption ideas. So I don't always use it, but yeah. Posting schedule, this is way outdated. I do not do this <laughs> at all anymore and IGTV like that's gone Instagram branding again I don't really use this when I was big on creating my Instagram aesthetic I put branding here so like the colors that I want on my Instagram feed then I have my target audience again content pillars on this side so what I am actually posting about and then I have types of posts here I don't really use this at all but this was like when I was big on again making my feed look a certain way Instagram content calendar I have all my Instagram ideas here again I'll probably blur it out but how I like to do this is separate again separate the ideas by category and the content type so whether it's a reel or if it's a live and then for TikTok it's pretty much the same thing I have my content pillars my series that I do on TikTok accounts to follow after have a few accounts that you study you don't copy them obviously but you study them and see what they're doing that you like what they're doing that you don't like and just make it your own all right so i feel like i was kind of all over the place with this video i tried to make it as organized as i could it was a lot so i hope it was helpful all right so one thing that i want to start doing in my videos is shout outs i'm still trying to figure out like how i want to do it but there was a shout out that i was meaning to do for the longest time and i kept forgetting when i was filming a video it's jules thank you for being on the channel for engaging leaving comments and i appreciate you so so much for being here so if i continue to do these shout outs leave the star emoji if you want a shout out make sure you follow me on my social media thank you guys so so much for watching i hope you guys enjoyed this video make sure you give it a like make sure you subscribe down below and i will see you in the next video love you